Hi, this is Jenny from Jenny's Crack Collection and I'm about to start day two of Toy Fair. Um, I'm really excited today. I'm going to Mattel and Lego and Moose and Play Monster. So make sure um, you watch and see what's happening today. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button below and like and comment with any questions you have. I'd love to hear anything you say and check out Best of Toy Fair 2020. I'll leave that link below. This is a toy I have been most excited for. Look at this is a thing, Baby Yoda. We got a plush, and we have one that's hard. Uh, like, can I take one home, please? And then we have some plush right here. Action figures. Are these super cute? Oh, poor Kate's friend. They've made all the aliens from Toy Story three characters for the tail activation. We have Jurassic Park. going on as well. We've also got sounds and electronics. I'm really bad with the names of these guys. So this is the the T Rex. This is the yeah Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. Yeah. That was a Carnosaur? That's Carnotaurus. Oh, that Car that's Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus. And then the, the large one is Indominus Rex. Okay. Yep. And then we have other variations. Our little ones got, even yeah, have little heads. We've got this uh, Sarah. We have the Minions. This movie is coming out this Yeah. I know, and I still have it. Look at these play sets. The, the enemy characters are, don't have any color because they're embargoed right now. Oh, okay. uh, there will be enemies, we just can't okay. show who or what they look like. So who are the enemies? This is a yep. movie coming out? A new game. A new game, okay. A new Halo. gaming Maybe. console. Isn't that awesome? We have Game of Thrones for all the people. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. We have our little. Well, we you guys apart in terms of the pictures. I'll be buying these. So here we have Pokemon. I enjoy buying them. I have some of the Pokemon. My son is his favorite. He's got all the characters. Look at how cute these are. It's the world's very first group of best friends. Yeah. Is there a TV show or an app? Yep. It'll be a YouTube uh, kids series beginning in July, and the dolls will hit shelves in August. It's all about the, the gang finding the origins of some of today's most trendiest themes. Think uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, self-care, selfies, things like that. This is Roland Roby. If you want to see his adorable, colorful, engaging, light-up <laughs> face, what are you doing back there, Roby? Are you rolling already? You were just so excited, huh? He definitely wants to show off some of his tumbling moves. So let me press on top of his head. Oh, drum roll. All right, that's me. Go, Roby, go. Nicely done. But we can also do dancing games when baby's ready to move around. I drew my ball. But in the fourth Wanna stage. Put my ball right in front of me, please. Preschoolers can follow direction and let's just give them a little bit of a hand there. They can play catch with Roby. Nicely done. 
So this is Link Moles in our Fisher Price Core line for infant. What's very exciting about our Link Moles is they launched in fall of 2019 and just won Toy of the Year award for infant toddler. And our Smooth Move Sloth, um, the Otter, the Stacking Llama, our Moose, and our Hedgehog are already part of the team. And in fall 20, the Koala here who teaches all about counting and our first plush, our panda, will join their friends. Now as you can see, when you press on any one of the Linkables, they light up and they each have their own adorable personality, but what's super cool is they link up together. Check them all out. I'm going to show you here is our Lumaloo Better Bedtime Routine Helper. This is for ages 0 to 5. So the first part of our Lumaloo system is the Bedtime Routine Helper. What you do is you connect your Smart Connect app, you go in your app and you choose what are the bedtime tasks for your children. So let's say the first thing they do is brush their teeth and then after that they take a bath. When baby hits on the remote, we get a sign of an icon of what their task is. They go brush their teeth. When they come back, they hit that remote themselves. They get that awesome reward. When they hit that remote, they find out what the next thing is, next task in the routine is, right? After the routine is over, it transforms into an elegant and functional soother. So we have the beautiful night light. You can customize what color. You can customize how long the light stays on, whether it's a night light all night long, or whether it fades out after 20 minutes. Um, and as a soother, in the night, we also want to program wake time. So let's say baby gets up, it's not time to wake up yet. So they get that red light from the star. We can even program soothing music to start playing again. But at wake time, we'll get that green light, we can get out of bed, and we can even have the clock for that toddler who's learning to tell time. This is for 18 months plus. Now at bedtime, um, we'll have that red light. That means that it's not time to wake up yet. Let's say that toddler gets up at 5 a.m., but they can't read a clock. But when it is time to get out of bed, they'll get that green light. You can program in your Smart Connect app. You connect it to the bunny. You can program, let's say, maybe the bunny starts to yawn at 7.30 and soothing music starts to play as a cue that bedtime is coming. So each of the gift sets comes with three toys and a wearable piece. So for example, with our baby biceps, we're gonna have baby's first protein shake, it's gonna rattle, or the teether kettlebell, and an awesome sweatband. And of course, we have this little clacker um, dumbbell here. We have our tiny tourist set, as well as the cutest chef gift set. Isn't that cute? Yeah. It's called the one, two, three babies play date. It does come with one, two, three babies. So this is all about a really fun day at a friend's house. We might start in the kitchen, I don't know, maybe having a snack. So we can turn the mixer. Oh, we get some fun sounds. That sounds like the mixer. It is. It must be feeding time. It is. So let's put them in the triple high chair over here and we can feed them with our big oversized spoon just like mom and dad helped us eat. And if you're really lucky, babies will take a nap at the end of the day. And we can cover them with a soft goods blankie. It's so sweet. Press down on the discovery button and we can rock our babies to sleep. These are our snuggle twins because you can never have too many babies. Different set of twins. Um, they come in different ethnicities and different genders. They each have a blankie. We've also got a little storybook that's also a play set that takes you through a baby's day. And we of course have more babies over here. Uh, this is our bundle and play. They each come with a little either baby gear item or something fun to play with and a little bit of soft goods. We have deluxe assortments. This is our baby's first checkup, getting a child ready for, to see the doctor for the first time with our cuddle and play nursery. Comes with two adorable babies. We've got oversized feeding possibilities here with a big bottle. You may recognize some of our Fisher Price items here with the um, activity center. And this is a really fun way for a, t a toddler to change a diaper. Oh, Presto, yeah. change yeah. <laughs> All clean, and then it's bedtime. And we can actually rock our baby to sleep. And then, of course, just like with the play date set, the nursery folds up and you can take everything on the go. Um, so this is our latest and our greatest from We Lee's within our Little People line. It is called the Launch and Loop and it is our TV driver for this the fall. It's all about that crashing and smashing action because we know that's equally important to a toddler. So it comes with two wheelies. It has 
has two launching pads on top. You can play with one or two players. It's got lights and sounds. And the idea is to either, you know, beat your opponent going down the loops and the jumps, or you can kind of trick them and use the detour and oh. win first that way. But check it out. These people built in that iconic Hot Wheels loop, so it's aspirational too. You can play with your old you system, which is really, really you are so fun. Lucky. Let me show you how we race. So, so on your mark, you can set, You must go. have been an incredibly good player. Oh, 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 smash it. Oh, oh, man. So much fun. The crowd goes crazy. Lights and sounds. And then, of course, we've got our Hot Wheels loop up here. If you blink, you'll miss it. It is so fast. But we made it for you. We made it for you. Oh, wow. From the Imagine Next figures. And look at how cool they are. They move. They can fly. Do whatever you want. All sorts of fun play. It's baby's first blocks and a rock stack. But these are now made with plant-based materials. Ooh. I know. Part of Mattel's overall goal that by the year 2030, 100% of product and packaging will be made with recycled, recyclable, or bio-based plastic materials. So um, these toys are made with sugar cane, and we're rolling them out for Earth Day this year in a nice, beautiful gift set. Even the packaging is FSC certified. And like I said, the, um, the toys themselves are made with sugar cane. So we're very excited to put some sustainable practices into our production. Yeah. And then next up we have our walk, bounce, and ride pony. So of course, maybe we'll have to study their first steps and use this as a walker. And as they do, we get some adorable um, sound effects and some encouraging phrases. But when baby is ready to scoot along, we can easily store this underneath. I'm going to leave it up here for right now. What's very cool is as they ride along, they can also bounce on this yoga ball inspired super squishy seat, oh, yeah. just like so. And then we have some light up um, buttons here on the dashboard, some busy play. And as you can see, our pony is gender neutral, really beautiful aesthetic. So we know that this three in one format will be so much fun for fall 20. We've got, who we have? Well, we have Puppy and Sis, yeah. and um, they just won the number one selling toy in the U.S., oh, cool. which is very exciting for 2019. Um, so we will be, they are continuing to go strong. They're just every little oh, infant's best friend. Look at this adorable kitchen. Isn't this adorable? Oh, now, gosh. it's not only a kitchen. This is so trendy. Check it out. We have 360 degrees wow. of healthy, fresh garden to kitchen fun. Oh. Over here on our garden side we have our vegetables that we can grow and of course shake sort, our strawberries, our little radishes. We even have some premium pieces like our watermelon right here or red cabbage. We can collect our eggs from our chicken in the backyard. That will be lots of fun. And when we take our basket, we can even bring it over here, hang it up here for put and take play, check on our sunflowers that we're growing, or maybe collect our honey from the bees. We can learn about opposites with our switch on and off up here. But then let's shape sort some of our veggies over into the kitchen side. So in our kitchen, we take all of our fresh ingredients and we find out what are we going to make today. We can make a lettuce wrap or maybe some avocado toast. Fry up your egg on the on the frying pan. Stack up your toast just like so. Make sure you have all of your pieces. And then you can take your tray to go and there's extra storage inside. Plant-based plastic. So it's made from uh, sugar cane waste. Uh, and uh, you cannot tell the difference really. Yep, it's the same. Well, it, like this is bio and this is from okay. the, the previous ones. So you really cannot tell. The feel is the same. What about water? What do you mean? Like if it goes in water, will it? Oh, no, no. It's, it's like it's still plastic, but it's mainly okay. from rice. Like Okay, so it won't dissolve. No, no, no. Perfect. It's, not... it's really nice. You can take him for a walk. Let's feed him. And then. So these are Pika blocks. These are coming out in spring. They each come with a cute little prong and the animal. So I'm just gonna show you the little activation. 
You put them down on the prong and they do an adorable little peekaboo. On the prong and they peekaboo. You can also launch them down the slide and they roll. And play all over again. Where's the dog? So here we have this is the brand new Super Surround Bat Cave playset with surround sound speakers, lights, 10 minutes of pre-recorded storytelling content in the Bat Supercomputer. We have all kinds of power pad activated delights like jail breaks when you turn the power pad with your favorite action figure. You can also have a display case of your favorite Bat suits of armor, but you can also twist it around. I'm showing off the villains that come with the playset, an exclusive Catwoman, Joker, Mr. Freeze, but it also has Robin the Boy Wonder here and the removable cow Batman that you saw seating up here with this removable mask right here. All five of those action figures, eight accessories, missile launchers, all this greatness all folds up at the end of the day for easy storage. So when it's time for little Gothamites to go to sleep, just push it off to the side, and then the next day, they can be right back in the Batcave. How much and when? $149.99. It's a fall uh, item. It's our big fall item. We're super excited about it. All right. You want to hear about tonight? So you don't know what you're going to get until you get it home. Same thing here, but it actually comes with a vehicle. You grab one of these boxes, for instance, you know it's Batman because it's got a black tab and it's on the side here. You don't know which one of the six Batman you're going to get, though. So you get home, you peel off the tab right here off the top. Once you've done so, you're going to slam it right down on the counter right here on the count of three. One, two, three, boom! Just like that, Batman comes bursting up out of the foil, ready for action. You pull the action figure out and then the vehicle's actually inside the box. Tear that open. It's a simple two-piece construction. That little plastic hook that was a question mark now pops in the front and boom, just like that, you have a Batmobile, he's ready to go. So there's six different combinations of Batman and Batmobile. There's three different combinations of Joker and Laughmobile right here and also three different combinations of Mr. Freeze and Arctic, Mobile, uh, Arctic Sled for a total of 12 figures. All, uh, all of this is just an amazing way to just add surprise and delight to that whole blind bag collectability experience. Thomas. And this is Puglicious. So you may at some point on your travels around the internet uh, seen adorable videos of dogs who are able to do that wonderful trick where you balance the treats on their nose uh -huh. and then on command they snatch it out of the air. So uh, our pug, we're going to try and teach him the same trick. So we ask our pug to sit very nicely, good dog, and then you'll see there's treats in the center here. So we're going to take it in, in turns to take one of these treats one at a time and balance them on the pug's nose. And there's a number on there, so whatever the number says, that's how many times you're going to push down on our pug's foot. So this is a three, one, two, three. And then the next person would pick one, it might be a two. So one, two. And then the idea, the stack's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And our pug's going to hold his concentration as best he can. But eventually, he's going to try and grab the treats. And then if any go in the pug's mouth, that's how many treats you're gonna have for your points for the round. So you take them back, put them in your pile, and then once all the treats are gone, whoever has the most treats in their pile wins the game, and then we have a very happy puppy. So this, there's a fun story behind this. So this is a new minimalist version of Uno. Um, now this was actually designed by a young artist called Wilson Oliveira. Um, Brazilian, young guy, I think he's in his early 20s, um, and a Uno enthusiast. So, with his graphic design skills, he designed what he thought would make a really great minimalist looking Uno deck. Threw it up online, didn't think anything of it. Um, but then the internet went crazy for it. It ended up on all the socials, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. 
and people desperately wanted to see this get made. So then a change.org petition went up. I think it was over 55,000 signatures went down saying, please, let's get this made. This would be amazing. And I think this was about a month ago. And then here we are. Mattel reached out, signed a deal with the young artist. And here's our prototype. This is going to be rolling out later this year. And uh, we think it's a very, very cool looking deck. Very stylish, very slick. It would look great on your coffee table. And what a great story for a young artist who didn't ask to get this made, but you know, when the internet listens, uh, sometimes it delivers. So there we go, that's Uno Minimalist uh, coming out later this year. And this is Uno Showdown. So uh, here's the deal. We've been seeing people on social media playing Uno, getting pretty savage with each other, and we think everyone's going a bit too easy on each other. So we thought we'd crank things up a notch with Uno Showdown. So it's our new premium extension. You'll notice you're still playing the classic game of Uno, uh, but with one twist. Uh, this is the Showdown wild card. It's gonna have a plus one, plus two, or it could be up to a plus three with the wild card. Um, and then if you throw that down, everything changes because you get to challenge someone to a showdown. And what that entails, if it's a plus one, for example, you add one card from the draw pile to the Uno showdown unit, and then you challenge anyone you want around the table to a showdown. You'd both stand across from each other and you'd have your hands ready on these paddles here. One of us would press the button, it will start a timer and lights and sounds will go. And then when that light turns green and makes a noise, that's the cue for both of you to try and hit your paddle down at the same time and shoot the card to your opponent because everyone knows you're trying to get rid of all your cards and you know, so you want your opponent to get that card. So you'd press the button, you'd both be across from each other and then you'd shoot the card, down it goes, you ruin the day and you've won the showdown. Uh, wonderful, brilliant point to this game as well. Everyone knows when you get down to your final card in Uno, you have to say Uno, but in Uno Showdown, you have to say Uno, but you can only win the entire game by winning one final showdown with your final card. Family's gonna fall apart at the seams, friendships are gonna break apart, but it's gonna be so fun. So here's another one, it's called Inky Fortune. Characters. Really making your doll on your own. So actually every single doll that you see in the front row is all created from the same package. So everything that comes in your box, you've got this like four doll, all these fashions, they're all very mix and match, and then you've got this additional hair piece that you can clip on. So one day you can have long hair, the next day you can have short hair. So it's all about expressing yourself and building really kind of got this really cute, flexible body. So she's bendy and she's very interactive in her environment. So she has what we call stick tech. So she's actually got these like sticky feet that stick to these hot spots within her play environment. So she can like interact and really be active in all of the play sets. We also relaunched her with Taking inspiration from the show, so we all do it. So this one is actually a cute retro vintage backpack. So it has these straps, so it can be worn like a backpack. And then it has this really cool pop to the play environment. So it pops open and then you have this giant carnival. So you have tons of play environments here. Of course, you've got your Ferris wheel. You've got your mini golf here. It comes with these tiny golf balls and these tiny little colors. 
you've got your food court over here. You've of course got your spinning teacups. actually remove like if you wanted to change out her eye you can actually remove this and swap it out for a different eye so let's see if we can find one here. so you know let's say we want to make her eye this eye right now she can have she can have one of each This is what packaging looks like. You're gonna actually pop this seal and then you're gonna pour water into this area here. And then you're gonna shake it up for one minute. And that is gonna create this cloud compound within the playset. So what you'll do is you'll remove it after you've shaken it all up, you'll peel this back, and then you'll reveal this fluffy cloud material. And then within that, you're gonna reveal which cloudy you've got. So this whole wall here that you see is all the different classes that you can possibly get. They've all got their lands that they're from. So all the pink are from the same land, the purple are from the same land. And then they all come with this really cute blush tail that corresponds to their land. And then for fall, we've got these storm themes. So we've got like a bright neon glittery theme. Well, there's different series coming through the year. So when we launched in fall of 2019, we launched with a pink tube, and the, the theme was animals. Mm -hmm. So in spring, we're going to change to a green tube, and it will be food themed. Mm -hmm. So the uh, wigs will be centered to the food. Mm -hmm. And then we're introducing Chelsea in spring. Okay. And then in fall, we're moving to an orange tube, and then the theme will be outdoors. So these are the five dolls that you could find in the outdoor theme. These are the five Chelsea's. Uh, you'll see that they all have some kind of outdoor imagery on their shirt and their skirts. Have, Chelsea will have fun piece count that will be outdoor themed and then we'll introduce the pets. Oh, yeah. Here's our Barbie line. Oh, this is such a cute one. Oh, yeah. Track builder. Alright. Ultimate Garage. We got Mario Kart. I want these cars. It's a, it, was, it went up for pre-order, the 110 and the 164. The 110 sold out in five hours okay. on sale, and then um, the 164 is still available. But they're both um, radio controlled. The 110 can go up to 25 miles an hour, um, and then the 164 works on and off track. Cool. And then we have some Hot Wheels. This looks cool. I want this. Yeah. The new Monster Trucks are super exciting. Yes. We've got our Hot Wheel tracks. Oh, look at this shark. That one works on land and in water. We've got SpongeBob. Nickelodeon. And then also on the Origins line, we do have uh, you know the Sky Sled oh, and the Battle Cat. Really. Uh, so for the Sky Sled, how many is the head swapping for He Man? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Battle right Cat as well. You have all your little menu cards, and each of these are double sided. So you have like spaghetti on this side, and that's the side you have fries. So everyone gets a little spatula, and you flip this over. Basically, how it works is you're trying to match all three that you have here. So I would say, okay, I have the spaghetti, I'm trying to find the pancakes, and I have the waffle. So you just flip this over like that, and then you hit the buzzer when you're done. So you can play with four people, you can play with just two. And then if you have a card, kind of how I was showing you earlier with just the two on it, then you have to stack it. So I would go like, okay, here, I have my, my waffles and I have my spaghetti. I got it. So it's really fun. You can play um, with a bunch of friends and family. If I dig in, it's a find it game. This is super cool because, so you just kind of see the different ones. So you have like the green butterfly, the blue scissors, that kind of stuff. And you're trying to find ones that match. Okay. 
So I found a blue hat and I would put it on here, <laughs> like just like that. So you're that. trying to find the different colors and objects. One thing that's great about this game too, and you know, would be great for preschoolers, is if they don't know their colors yet, or they just want to do objects only, or um, if someone is colorblind, they can just play with the gray on the other side and just try to find the different objects that they're looking for within the thing. So they can pull any hat color that they want. They can pull any butterfly color, like that. Cool. This is the what can you do game. How this works is you roll the dice. So let's say I got red. Then there you have activities for red, actions for blue, and sounds for yellow. This is really great. This is three and up. So this is again would be perfect for you know people maybe right entering that preschool age or a little bit younger. But they kind of have to do the different activities. So if you got red, for example, I would say pretend you were planting a tree. So then you would act that out. Or if you got blue, it would be an action find something shaped like a circle. And they could point to something, they could point to this, or whatever it may be, and then sounds. So teaching kids about animals, teaching kids about other sounds sort of in the world, about like meow like a cat. And these categories, the ones that we have on display are some of the newer games from the collection, um, things like that. I have a circle clock on this board, and I would look here and say, okay, yeah, I do, I got bingo. It's teaching kids opposites, so like happy, sad, teaching kids shapes, teaching kids numbers, um, and, then, and then, yeah, you know, it's a really great, and then also color sometimes too, purple. Oh, okay. Um, but you spin this, you see what number you roll on, and then you move that many spaces. If you get, if you get the singing spot, then you have to pick up a card and sing the song of the wheels mm -hmm. on the bus, so the horn on the bus goes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beep, beep. yeah. Yep. That's and great. then if you get, um, something, if you get one of the other spots on here, Mm -hmm. um, you do have to build part of the puzzle. Okay. So you have the puzzle going, you have all the pieces undone, and then you'll okay. build part of the puzzle. So it's super interactive where it's like um, learning music, you're also building a puzzle, you're moving your pieces here, you're kind of learning some numbers. Okay. Um, yeah, really interactive. And then this is oh, Dog Man. Is this new? This is new, yep. Okay, Dog Man here. Yeah, so this is, um, I would say there's not. They are all part of Briar Patch, but this is more kind of going off the popularity of yeah. Dogman and sort of that. They have the exclusive license for that, so being able to make games here. Mm -hmm. um, there's the card game. So how this works is you lay out all 64 uh, cards onto the table, and then you, um, that was wrong, I went to flip over first. You flip them over, all the hot dogs, like one by one by one. And then once you get to sort of like the villain character of the show, the book, excuse me, you're going to flip these over as fast as you can, one by one. Okay. And then if you get Dog Man and you have all those cards flipped over, you're going to try to grab one by one as many hot dogs as you okay. can. So the one person who ends up with the most at the end wins. Okay. So that's kind of cool. And then also, this is something I really like. It's, the lent it's a lenticular puzzle. Uh -huh. So it's a hundred piece puzzle. This is just a oh. mock-up. But like, if you move it, it mm -hmm. the image changes. Okay. So when you're building it, and then you can kind of go sit on one side of the room, the other oh, side. Cool. And this is six and up. Okay. It's here. So is this three in a row wins? Card games, a race. Shake it, slide it, solve it. There we go. A bunch of travel games, which would be perfect for the car, because we play ice bike out the window a lot of times, so instead of doing that, they oh, the signs, that'd be perfect. Keep them occupied while they're driving. But essentially, and the, it comes with a box, the paper's mm -hmm. inside too, so I can... Oh, that's neat. Yep, and then you can bump it, and you can also move the paper around if you'd like okay. to make some other fun patterns. So each Treasure Valley has its own grumble. Do it again. So it's like a surprise grumble every time. You don't know what you're getting. That's cute. And it's um, available in five different sizes. Oh. Super cute, super fun. This is cute. And then these are the Happy Knockers, also new to the market right now. They're only available on TV. Okay. And the rainbow collection right now available in five different colors and what's really great about this collection is it really seems diversity yeah um, so we have green blue purple yellow and red coming to you in 2020 but these are some new collections that are coming oh, that's cute as well these are really cool so these are the unboxing baby and what's really great about these is i'll show you mm -hmm. so these this comes with it and the baby actually comes in the box. And the box is actually this chair. 
And this is how the baby comes. Dragons. The egg and the babies that are superheroes. Baby puppies. Um, you connect the Wonder Roo to the Wonder Roo app, mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and then it plays bedtime stories for children, eight minute long stories. That's cute. Really cute. Have Magic Kitchen right here. Yes. Your magical decora decorating station. Mm -hmm. And popsicles. So, uh, at Doodlematic, we turn drawings into video games, but really it goes far more than just drawings. We turn really anything that's red, green, blue, black, or purple on a white background into video games. So if you see this cake over here, that's actually also a playable game. So green is our avatar. They can move left, right, jump, and double jump. Blues are our goals. Purple are movable objects affected by gravity. Red is hazard, so orange would be considered red. And then uh, blue, black is our solid ground walls and floors that make up the space of the game. So what you do is you take a picture of the game, and then 15 to 30 seconds later, you end up playing your game. So here is our green gummy bear jumping around, collecting the blue goals. I have to avoid the orange dinosaur gummy bear. So here, this is with gravity off. So there's two different game types. Each of them you can play with gravity on or off. This is get to the goal of gravity off, so it's like a top down, uh, top down. You can play maze type games, things like that. And in this game, you actually have to use the purple as a shield, so you can get through all of the red hazards that are shooting by. I have found. I've been searching everywhere for Child Yoda, as they're calling him. We've got the ten inch and the, the ten inch and the regular four inch. And how much are they? Uh, these are nine ninety nine, and that would be thirty. And then we also have some other. These look like very great games for your kids to play with you, whatever levels they're at. And then we also have Can't Catch Harry for those younger ones, which is almost like Spoons. It's an expanded version of it. So Rise of Tribes is a resource management area control game uh, where you're developing your tribe uh, first to 15 points wins. The hook of it is instead of other games where if you get boxed in, you've lost your options. You On your turn, you get two actions. You always have access to these. On your turn, you roll the extra dice, and depending on the combination, I might have a neutral a neutral day, a great day, or a bad day. So you always you can always do what you're strategizing to do, just a sliding scale of success. Set them up here, and then rip it really fast. And, mix them up. and it's just three pieces, easily to repeat play. Put them back together. Are these new? Yes. Yeah, so these ones come out in June. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so these ones are all about compound play. So you stretch them. You have like compounds inside. Each one's different. This guy's got cool little bones inside of him, little balls. This guy's more squishy and he's got some bones inside. Yeah, so these ones are all about compound This will come out in August. And um, similar to the um, Treasure X Aliens, it's all about breaking this open. So you can crack it open, it's really fun. Um, and you have your little squid inside with his ink, and you pull out your treasure hunter. Um, this one's super cool. You get to dissect your um, your shark to find your treasure hunter. 
and then eventually he'll be on the saddle and get to ride him. So good for imaginary play. Uh, 25 different levels of adventure. Um, if you want to feel it too, it's this cool compound. He's in the ambulance. <laughs> resin-based system where you can make the most, you can make cute little designs, they can be different colors, they come in different sizes, look at how pretty those are. Uh, transpire from then shop cans with like the shoppies because a lot of the stuff is the same oh, yeah, like because they have the little faces well yeah. she has like the slippers mm -hmm. and all the that cutest yeah. separate line but all the definitely yeah. Yeah. like inspired yeah. anyone to take the pin? No. Yes, come on. Sit. So just, you're going to go in and out quickly? Yep. That's it. Oh, and you popped him. No, oh, squeaky. That's okay. We have a special pump to inflate him all the way back up. Good boy, squeaky. That's so clever. Scratching the ears. Can you shake paw, squeaky? Yes, you can. We trained you yesterday. Oh, good boy. Oh, don't scratch your foot in. Up we come. Up we come. So I think it's about lunchtime, so I'll give him some food. Yum. Oh, good boy, Squeaky. Oh, Squeaky. It's not quite potty trained. Oh, you want some more? Okay. Some more food. Good boy. Yum. Oh, Squeaky. Oh, no. Not in front of people. And it's a play set and it's a toy. Uh -huh. so it's a little bit of everything. Um, what you have is these little uh -huh. flock characters and you can feel them. And then when you're ready, you, you can draw on them and color them. Oh, okay. Um, 
when you're in a garden, it's part of that, that nature playset. So what it is, is it's a, it's a playset, but it's actually a real live growing garden. So with the kit, you get growing seeds and you plant them yourselves and water them. So there is that STEM component to it, as uh -huh. well as the activity of playset. Um, this is sort of our best seller, the Nature Cottage. You can see the, brand, the box is sort of being rebranded. And now we're introducing the light tree house and the light garden. The cutest thing is they're all meant to sort of fit together to create that village that you saw. But if you take a look there and you want to blow in that window. Oh gosh. And then what you can do too, sorry, I won't get into your video, but you can blow it out too. And it plays that little cube shine So again, the, the tall stackers and the pegs. This is unique. Mm -hmm. So when did this come out? This is a few years old okay. now. Um, it's sort of just a, a line continuation that we're working on. But what is really cool is actually, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Kittle at all or Rory and Marilla. The customer feedback and sort of relaunch them now. One of the big things was the pen. People lost it, okay. so now it snaps in. Okay. You still have that great sensory-based learning of learning how to type or uh -huh. print. And you have the uppercase, the lowercase. Then what's new for this year is we did the numbers previously, but we've actually included the shapes now. Okay. Um, then we have the free draw, which in his hand you see the glow in the dark version, and then this is the, the other version. This year we're actually able to increase the drawing area by about 34% without increasing the oversell size of the tablet. These are all lines, sort of continuation from Kiro. But what we have here is skill dailies in the Marari line. So Marari last year we rebranded and redid the the my story maker, the my keys, the pop up piano, and the my phone. And the cute thing with sort of the my phone is you can be sitting across a room and you can call your child. And you're able to play and answer the phone. The my story maker. One of the cool things is you're actually able to build a story. You know, the pig took the uh, took the a hot air balloon around the world, but you can record your child's voice so that when they retell the story and you hit that play button, it says like, Sam, the pig, can did this and that. So it kind of makes it really personal. The other nice thing is these skill dudes. Oh, yeah. Teaches the cause and effect, the music. So these skill dudes are new and they're still prototypes and you can see they've been beaten up a little bit. But they, they teach those fine motor skills. So that whether it's that pincer grasp that you're learning, um, whether it's the twisting, or the pushing and sort of all those reaffirming noises and then you have the, the little owl which again it's that hand to hand yeah. the turning the spinning the rocking so again it's, it's learning those fine motor skills using this and again it's all food grade silicon okay. so i mean you can stretch it you can throw it and stick it or you can stick them together they're they're a superhero you can chew on them you can kind of do whatever you want And again, it kind of levels the playing field between parents and adults. Uh -huh. So this is the first ever game to include a drone in the box as part of the gameplay. As you can see, it's the center of our little universe here. And the way this works is we're all going to be launching these aliens at the center, trying to get them in the middle of the spaceship. When you do, the lights will turn on, and everyone else has about three seconds to knock your alien out before it takes off. You want to be the first person to get all three of your aliens to leave the planet, and then you win. Three, two, one. So I think this is super yeah. <laughs> cute. It's like my favorite. That's a little wave so they can go surfing on it. Um, I don't know if you know this about Hoppe, but they are using products like bamboo. They have a lot of wooden toys, um, plant-based. So they're trying to get away from plastic. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to get away from plastic and make things extremely durable, want to be passed down. Um, so you can actually notice that in their previous um, products here, mm -hmm. that these ones have a lot less plastic. Okay. And they're moving more towards the um, They already had the toolbox and the workbench featured up there. Their two new products are the Magnet Science Lab and the Optical Science Lab. Um, the Magnet Science Lab has seven experiments and um, I watched a YouTube video on it. It mm -hmm. looks really cool. Things are moving. Um, obviously the fish will have magnets and with light and the shadows and what goes through magnifying glass flipping it. Obviously teaches math, balance, weight. Any 
section. Um, this is one of the fastest growing collections products they have. Um, so they created this Joey Bucket Builder set. Um, what I love about this is so not only is it a place to store it, get it away, or you know have a thing to take it to grandma's in, um, but it's actually part of the toy. So this is um, Silly Spaghetti, oh. he's new, you can take all his stuff off, mix him around, do whatever you want with him. Oh look at this little stove, that's portable so it's nice. Yes. This is the Fun Fan Fryer, uh -huh. it's got different recipes on these felt mm -hmm. pieces and he moves so it simulates oh, like you're wow. cooking. And then Oh, that's cute. Aren't these cute? Yeah. yeah. They keep that kind of kitchen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the tree. Is they it decorated coming out it. for Christmas or was it already out? This stuff, um, so this side was out last year and this is the new this year. So look for this at Christmas. They try to like sell it to this in your store as oh, like yeah. a. Yeah. Dolls, accessories, plush, lots of our stuff's interactive. So this is all, um, all the toys here, like on this wall, are machine washable. These are our toddlers. So yeah, this is a kind of like our classic, like kind of first doll that we've ever maybe made. It has like that really soft, like yeah. vinyl. So it's like more play value than a lot of other like traditional dolls. Just light up when okay. it moves. Oh, that's cute. So like that might be good content. Is it the old so that's great. Yeah. And then um, clouds, when you go in the sun, they turn blue. Fun fruited, and the pit comes out like that. So cute. These are gonna, these aren't out yet. These are glow in the dark, actually. Mm -hmm. So they like kind of, they come in a bathing suit, and then when you take them outside, mm -hmm. their oh, bathing suit appears. Yeah, really cute. Yeah. All the bathing suits are like different, so you can kind of pick which one you like the best. Interactive doll, so when you. <laughs> So it's kind of for like grandparents. It's called Wrapped in Love because it's like a bow. And it's for parents or grandparents who want to leave a little message for their little one. And then that way the little one can like listen to it when they go to bed at night or they go to like camp or something like that. So that'll be coming out later this year. Okay. Then we have pretend play. So lots of like fun wooden toys. We have our, this is like probably our most popular is the purse because like little girls love this. Let me put my phone down. So the purse is like this and then it comes with the mini accessories so like a fake cell phone we have our fake blush a comb so lots of cute things and then the purse with our little logo on it apron and the hat chef's hat and then the diaper bag or the doctor adorable which is all the doctor themed things and then more accessories this is our adoption baby line so kind of you know teaching kids how to nurture and take care of a baby adopt a baby so that's that line and then this is um, another print of accessories. So we have like five different accessory prints, but this was our first one. So these are candy themed fashion dolls. We'll have six styles in launch, each with a different flavor personality. Um, they come scented, so they, they smell like candy, and they have an accessory that you can actually taste. So there's actual candy inside the package. Oh. Yes. Um, there are also unwrappable accessories like clothes, shoes, handbags, hair pieces, and they each come with an adorable little pet. Playful pandas are Interactive pets that will wiggle, giggle, roll, and you can teach them how to sing. Um, this one, I can show you an example of the movement. 
It has two sensors, one on the nose, one on the belly. And when you tickle them, they start laughing and wobbling. And the more you play with them and touch them, the more they'll laugh and the more they'll interact with you. So that's in play mode. When you are in, oops, when you're in singing mode, um, you can sing to them. So if I said, twinkle, twinkle, little star, it would repeat back to me in its own panda language. Oh. So it's picking up on my tone, it's picking up on my vocal patterns, and it's singing back to me in its panda language. The more I sing to it, the better it will become at singing. And I can collect multiples, and they will sing together in harmony and interact with each other. Oh, that's cute. We're expanding the line with two new sets that really just bring to life the entire NASCAR experience and are also inspired by real tracks that people love and know. So the first is the Bristol Short Track. This will be a $24.99 item. And it has a triple wide bank on each end so that you can get lots and lots of cars racing on here. So I'll show you what it looks like when we got a lot of cars racing. So again, all you have to do to get these cars going is to flash charge them with these chargers. It takes about five seconds, 10 seconds. And then you just you let them go. Here they go. Here, I'll show them when they actually on suspension and he comes with a burger sim. Can also be built into the Land Rover or the tractor. It's all based off real life heroes, action and scenarios. So you'll see we have a lot of police officers, a lot of firefighters. Um, new this year we've integrated these helicopters that actually have the ripcord and they can fly. Also pretty new, we've integrated magnetic elements into the bricks. You can see the brick connects magnetically there. There's You'll see we have a lot of minifigures with these sets because it allows for greater storytelling opportunities. Um, you can have a different story every time you engage with the play with the set. Like started to integrate stepping away a little bit more from like the hero scenario we have like the city street sweeper also a hero in his own sense my favorite hero the ice cream truck um we have a safari off-roader just kind of integrating these real life scenarios that kids are looking at and seeing on a daily basis so that way whenever they're building it they're bringing it to life the boat does float on water as well you see it's a solid base um, it's 
there's about five girls living in Olympic City, um, and all of the you know, memories that they're here. These are our friends cubes, our play cubes. Um, they come with one character and one animal per set. These actually fold up, and what's really cool about these is you can stack them. So they stack on top of each other. I like that. I know, it's very good for on the go, but also new this year, we have really fun sets. Like I think this juice truck is adorable. It has a little blender within it. Um, over here we have a glamping set. So you have the actual tent. It has string lights, a little spa. So, so cute. This it's a, yeah, the, camper, the, right? the friendship this, bus. Yeah, it's awesome. With the slides. Um, this is baking competition. So cute. I mean, just like the detail and the creativity within these sets is awesome. Yes. Princesses. So within the sets we have like Moana, Aurora, and then we have Cinderella's castle over here. Also very new is we have our storybooks. These are awesome. So once they're built, here we have Arendelle's castle from Frozen. You can actually collapse the book and it makes an actual oh, story book. So this is awesome for on the go. And then we have all of the mini characters from the movies as well. So we have Mulan, Frozen, Little Mermaid, and then Beauty and the Beast. With Beauty and the Beast, I love. We have Mrs. Potts and Chip there as well too. So cute. With our DC lines, you'll see we have Batman, Wonder Woman, Bumblebee, um, The Joker, a lot of interesting and fun characters. All of these come in our blind bags, so you never know what you're gonna get whenever you're purchasing our DC set. Because there will be. So Charles is a brand new IP for Lego. Um, so we have six new sets promoting the Trolls World Tour movie, which is coming out later this year. You'll see we've integrated a lot of functionality with the character's hair. It's really big in the movie. They put things in their hair, on top of their hair. So we wanted to make sure that was really evident with the minifigs. Also, we've integrated felt elements, which just gives the set a different texture, as you can see, and really brings it to life. They're awesome. New this year is with so when you play with the app, you can actually bring your set to life through an AR technology. Uh, we have introduced multiplayer functionality this year, so if you have two people with the app that are next to each other, they can actually play and engage with the set together. Um, this one's awesome. This is the haunted fairground. You'll see there's just like a lot of um, ooh, interactivity within it. That can go down, this guy opens up, and then whenever you're actually playing this set, it of course like it'll tell you to turn the wheel and things like that, so that's awesome. Brand new this year is Minions, so let me kind of, we'll start with all these guys' clothes. So this is a brand new IP for Lego, I've never done any Minions work. These sets do not come out until April 27th, so they are not on shelves yet, and it's all inspired by the Rise of Gru, which is coming out in July. This set is awesome. You can build all three minions, Bob, Stuart, and Kevin. You can only build two at a time though. So you can build Kevin and Stuart or Bob and Stuart. What's awesome with these guys, they open up in the back and you have their lair. So you can turn their eyeballs and then you also get the mini minions so they can actually engage with this part of the set as well. So we have Spider-Man and Avengers. You'll see what's really big this year is what we are calling mechs. So it's like the suit that these guys go into. So we have the Spider-Man mech. Down here we have the Venom mech. Very cool. We have Iron Man for Avengers. And then really popular this year is we have Thanos. And of course he has all of his Infinity Stones. So that's really awesome for Avengers. Woo! We also have a Black Widow set. Um, she is a retail exclusive, so we don't have her out here yet, but that is also new with our Avengers. Um, all of their tech line has the option to um, add mobility. So we sell separate power functions that can be built into the sets so that your sets can move. Um, the top here, the jolly part, that is actually app control. So you can download an app on your phone and control it like a remote control plus. Very cool. This catamaran floats on water once it's fully built. Um, and then other sets like these have the pullback technology. So this speedster, or the dragster, will actually kind of pull up off the ground, as you see. The pullback move it. So that's really neat as well. Ninjago is our homegrown IP, um, and it's kind of similar from two storylines. So we have the legacy storyline, as you see here, with all the ninjas, the dragons, 
Um, also over here, this is from the new Spinjitzi series. So I think these are just incredible. These are our arcade pods. The packaging is just awesome. And then if you open it up, it's actually a little house for your minifigure. Yeah. So you have the body, the head, all of his accessories. Keeps everything in one place. Really good for on the go. We have them for all of our characters, Kai, Lloyd, and Jay. This set down here is awesome because it comes with nine minifigures. Uh -huh. So it really gives all you the, Is that all the characters? Correct. Yeah, so it gives you the opportunity to really tell your own craft your storyline. Funny anecdote from the show. Uh -huh. Pink Ninja actually starts off as a white ninja, but he uh -huh. washes his suit with a red okay. ninja, so he's forever pink now. Okay. We got our characters to go with it. Also with the Mandalorian, we have the Mandalorian battle pack, so you can see that scene there. From Rise of the Skywalker, we have the Dio droid. So this doesn't come out till April 19th. He's really cool. He actually swivels and has like this droid-like functionality to him. So he's awesome. Up top, this one's really cool. So we actually have the Princess Leia hologram and Obi-Wan's head. Aww. It's very cool. That's something new that we've integrated into the Star Wars sets. And then of course we have the X-Wing fighter, and then the Sentai fighter is also very cool. He's here! <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> have you watched the movie? Yes. Um, yes. It's so good. What's your favorite Star Wars girl? Girl? Uh-huh. Like out of all the movies. Well, I love Rey, just because I think yeah. she's such like a modern day, just like, woman. Like, you know, uh -huh. like, she's just... I think she's a really good role model for you. Yeah. Uh, Minecraft. So Minecraft is our 8-bit building system. Uh, Darth Vader um, here. Basically, we're supporting it. Lines, we have Dubai and Tokyo. Um, they represent the skylines of the city. So we have a lot of silent skylines and um, land, land, landmarks. Okay. <laughs> My mind was going blank. Mm -hmm. um, so these are awesome. They make really good Father's Day gifts. Um, really good like desk decoration. They're just very sleek. Very cool. Actually the largest ma tire manufacturer in the world. We have a really deep root in cars. This year with Speed Champions, in addition to the five sets you see here, we've actually made our cars bigger. Um, so we took them from six Lego stud wide to eight Lego studs wide. Um, and then all of the sets that you see here are actually representative of real life models. So in Minecraft we have six new sets this year. Um, this, these characters are brand new. They were introduced, they are the villagers within the Minecraft series. And then everything else you see here are characters, scenes, and things from the Minecraft series. So it will be testing for the first five months. Brand new to the um, tile experience that we're introducing this year. this year. These do not come out until March 1st. And everything you see here is either functional or wearable. So we have bracelets that you can dot and design. We have photo cubes. These actually will hold a cute little photo. This is a pencil or pen cup holder. You can put that inside the little top. And this is a jewelry stand. So you can hang necklaces, bracelets from that. Um, we also sell the like free packs, so these are really cute. They come with little emojis and little designs like that. We have over 30 tile designs, um, and so yes, these will be available at Target. And then also for the first year, we are retailing at Joanne, just because we see this as more of like a crafting opportunity as well. So definitely perfect and in line with the year say. And good prices. <laughs> Here right now. What's in the box? It comes out September 1st and it retails for $129.99. So we have the Mandalorian Razor Crest ship as well as the child minifigure and the Mandalorian minifigure. And now they're a bit lighter colors. Um, it's much more red. Much more softer yeah. color palette. Yeah. Play packaging. So what happens is the box that the set comes in actually becomes part of the set. So you're building the playroom within the box to make it look like it's an in an actual playroom. Yeah, we just we got our lunch and the city is all about I do uh <laughs> Last year we launched the Tamagotchi on. It did phenomenally well with upgraded features, 
um, what was really exciting for this year is the Pac-Man Tamagotchi. So mm -hmm. Pac-Man has a 40th anniversary, believe it or not, he's 40. So we kind of took two pop culture icons and put them together. Um, and fans were like, why didn't you guys do this sooner? Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is Dragon Ball, obviously a huge staple piece of the band I've uh, One thing that we're super excited about for fall is actually the Skyrama. So this isn't just a toy for setup, this will actually be at retail for $29.99. Um, so this is new for us this year, this is an anime heroes. We started with Naruto and Saint Seiya. Um, very similar technology to what we've done with Dragon Ball figures, so highly detailed characters. As well, um, still doing well. Um, popular, um, basic place, beautiful, good to display. And then it is currently on Nickelodeon, and it'll be on Netflix. So, did you guys? So this year is actually a DIY eraser maker. So you would have seen this last year at Toy Fair too. Um, it's on Amazon, continues to do well for us. You actually peel off um, pieces from the eraser strips here. You put them in the maker. You can use the template or just free form it if you want to be creative and do your own design. You close this, put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. And then when it comes out, you put it in cold water for 10 minutes. And when you pop it back open, you have fully solidified and functional erasers. graduations and gifts in general because it okay. comes with a marker so you can write messages on it. Oh, cute. So these are always going to hit and this we put launch last uh -huh. year. You could put a plant on it, put it on your desk. Uh -huh. so, oh, that's cute. And these are jar of things that you could do, different activities that you oh, can do. Nice. Yeah. I love it. And then you have this, a yeah. gigantic yeah. nature yeah. theme. This would be perfect for preschool. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably does it everywhere, right? Oh, yeah. I just get to see it once, once it's a show, right? It's a fascinating thing. Viral game of doing the blindfold. Yeah. Christine's blindfolded. Uh, someone's blindfolded the other person, and then they put makeup on the other person. So obviously, it's First time always funny and never, yeah. never right, nice. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, that's one of the things. Which her highlighter is really nice because it's so pigmented yeah. and it stays on your hair. But if you wash it right, it washes right off with water. Yeah. That's what I really like. Sorry, I'm um, good things like sleepovers. Um, make your own exfoliant. <laughs> and those are so cheap. This is in stock. Items. Um, for kids like for you can do for sketch and nail pens. Um, so one side is more fine and the other one's just the actual polish. It's great. Some fun. Like for your hair. More nail stuff. So. Products we created in conjunction with Riel, who is featured on the Ellen channel a lot. She's really smart. Um, we have the anatomy to find out what, like, what your body means, neuroscience, how your brain works, like why do optical illusions work the way they do, signs of dogs, it's all the same, right? <laughs> These are the seven days of science. It's kind of like each day is a different experiment, which is really nice. We have like an advent calendar that did very well, so this is kind of like a play off of that. This is you mix and make your own squish ball. Wow. You know, kids love this movie. Um, so it comes in this kit and you make it yourself. And these other ones are Biology. We thought this was great because not a lot, there aren't a lot of kids on sea science actually out there. So this is one of the ones that are. Um, and I like the instruction booklets because a lot of instructions, but then there's also additional facts that you can learn as well. So. Really great for both kids and parents to do all together. Yeah, something like that. So all about physics. Ooh, I like that. I think it's a okay. and this is basically finger knit, mm -hmm. and then you can make it into a purse. Okay. Or some animals that you see over there. Oh, oh the cool. God, yeah. But all you need is your hands, so it's really easy to do, like, in the car on road trips, on, yeah. on the plane. Keep them busy. <laughs> wow. um, make pillows. Yeah. 
Yeah, this one is a little bit different. You use it like this, you kind of just take it out. Okay. Like that, one at a time. You can make pillows or little stuffed animals. And I like those because you can extend the life, like make it, and then you can use it as a stuffed animal. Similarly, not a sequins. We love sequins. Um, and then tie dye is the color whenever, and you spray it with water. With this 3M kind of thing, you reveal the band, you put it back in, you shake, shake, shake. Then you get one of 48 combinations, so you can collect them all, give it to friends. Yeah. Um, no real shaving, of course, but it's a lot of bathtub fun, so you can put it all on here, you can draw on the tub. You can wash right up. You can color the whale in the tub and watch, start all over again. Um, and these are great for like button art. So there's different um, drawings, not drawings, um, like each pattern, and then you just kind of stick it to the same color. So I'm about to leave Toy Fair officially done for this year. It was so much fun. So much more appointments than last year, but so much fun. It was uh, so great to meet with all the companies. So make sure you watch uh, this video and look for my highlights video where I do best of. And I'm also gonna do a blog post. And when the products become available, I'll put links in so that you can buy them on like um, Amazon or wherever uh, they are sold. So I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye. Another bag. Another bag. Hey, you get a surprise. Everyone gets a surprise. What'd you get? What'd you get? Awesome. An egg. And you got two surprises. What did the baby get? She got a bunch of eggs. Let's see what's in it. Another package. Ooh. What did you get? Ooh, that's cool. Ryan's World. Okay, what is this? It's a dude. Ooh, that's cool. That was your mystery figure. All right, this is um, stuff from day two of Toy Fair. So let me show you first. I went to Mattel. 75 years. So what do we get in here? This is really cool. It's a creatable world, so you can create like anything you want. Um, it can be short hair, long hair, anything you want. So isn't that cool? It comes with outfits and hair. This thing, listen. Ah. <laughs> isn't that the coolest? <laughs> Makes a noise. Okay, this is, oh, I love these. So this one, um, you don't know what you're gonna get. So it's from Moose, the people that made Shopkins. Really excited, just and you'll see more of that in my um, overview. And then this, a bag dispenser, so for, for bags on the go, they're biodegradable. And then I got, isn't that cute? A Barbie fashionista. And then, oh, so create a world. So you have the different color hair to go with this one right here. So they can have different colored hair. And then we got a Jurassic World little dinosaur. I haven't seen this stuff yet, so it's all new. Um, so this is a Thomas and Friends. It's a mystery what we get. So you don't know until you open that. And then in here, we have Uno Flip. I'm really excited to try that. And then Hot Wheels, of course. Who doesn't love Hot Wheels? And then we got these. That goes with the other ones. So the biodegradable bags, which I'm gonna love. And this one is coming to Target soon. It's just a interactive toy to play with your baby. So it has a feather. And then something at the bottom just to kind of have them snuggle. So it's really cute. I like it. And I think the rest of that is food and everything else in there. Okay, and then let's see what we got in this next bag. Got a couple things. Okay, so we got Fuzzkins for babies. Then we got a My Hero Academia. 
got this cute little kitten. And they let me pick this out. I picked out the marshmallow. <laughs> Who doesn't love them? So, I think we got a little bit more in this one. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for all the stuff you gave us. My kids were super So, oh my gosh, a little cute flamingo. A little lanyard. We can wear some food. This toy fair is so crazy. Seriously, like, we get thirsty and hungry. Just running around. Lot. I should have looked in this bag before. Lots of candy. A cute little plush. And let's see what else. I think we just have the other assets so we can. It was a cute booth. Okay. I think there's a little bit more candy in here. Yep. A little. Oh, those are so cute. They made their custom mints for Toy Fair. So, okay, I think that's it. Oh, this is a really cute bag. They had Pac-Man there. I was so in love. Okay, that's just a book. And then one of the things I got, I went back to the Crayola booth and I was like, can I please just put that one? Oh, I love this. This is like, I live for this thing. I um, just love looking through it and seeing all the things that they're making and just all the pictures are so pretty. So um, it's available online too. And then Dualmatic gave this cute thing just with some information. Oh, and they gave me some markers. So I think, I don't know. I'll have to look and see if I can use these to make their game. I think it's just an app that you do. It's pretty easy. Oh, and they gave these cute cookies. This is really cool. You can make your own video game with this. So here we are. I'm super, super excited for this. I think it's gonna take off. And they gave some candy. Here's like some of their information. There you go. So. That was toy for some more food and water bottles because you walk around and you're like, ah! <laughs> so thank you everyone for what you gave us. We are super appreciative. Okay, I'm a sister, so it was hiding in the bag. It's from Mattel. And I have to give a shout out to all these bags because pretty soon we're going to have a plastic bag ban here in New York. And this is perfect. So I will be using these bags for my groceries. Thank you so much.